Well, the question is, am I going in a new direction or do I need to have other options? Well, in this case, I wanted other options. And no, I'm not going strictly to the new camper, the runaway. Still got hard shell over here and we will be using hard shell for most of our big camping trips. The turtles will be doing their adventures. But why did I get this? Well, I wanted other options. There's times when I want to go out on my own solo camping. So what I'm going to do with this camper, I did pick it up. It's a, a little over a year, year old. Got a good deal on it from a fellow down in uh, Tennessee. And uh, it did come with a few things he's added on, which I'm pretty happy with some of the stuff he's added on. So the whole idea behind this type camper is going to be the opposite of hard shell. And that is, it's kind of more of our luxuries, luxury camper. And it takes a little more to get it going. It takes has worse gas mileage when we're towing it. And that's what I'm going to try to do this one here. Is I want to do some mods on it, but I want to keep it simple. I want to keep this one as simple as possible. Keep it as light as I can. I was happy to coming from Tennessee back to Kentucky. And I got about 20 miles of the gallon towing behind this with 70 mile an hour, which in itself was a quite feat because I never towed my big camper more than 60, 62, somewhere that way. And that, like 70 is probably as high as I want to go with this, but it towed just great. So what I'm going to do today is I want to show you the way it came with me with when I got it. And I'll give you a little rough idea of what I want to do to this. Now for the runaway people out there, you kind of already know how these set are set up. The runaways have maybe three different types, actually four I think. And they have the cool camp, which is the little four by eight. And this is the range runner, which is the next size up. They also have ones you can stand up in, the rouser. And they also have a off-road version. And these come, you can get them pretty stripped down. This one here came with a lot of luxury items, or I think pretty nice deluxe items. As you can see, it has the aluminum wheels, which are really nice. And uh, they all come standard with a little front air conditioner out here in the front. And this one did come with the diamond plating, which is an extra. We'll walk around a little bit here. And you'll notice the awning up on the top, that's an add-on as well. That's what pulls out, makes a little awning out front. Now the back door is an option. Usually there's no door back here. You can either add a window or a door, or you can just have a plain wall there. Now another add-on that I've got is the racks on the top. That's an add-on expense. The base model doesn't come with that. I'm really looking forward to having that. You can throw a kayak up on top of there. One thing that comes standard with these models is the, the receiver hitch in the back. I think it can only hold so much poundage. I'm not sure what that is. I'll try to find that and put that on the video. Now I did add, or there is a spare tire, and that's an add-on as well. It's an extra, and I really don't know why you'd not want to have one of those. Moving around, one thing I'll show you at the very back here, which I'm very happy with. This is this is actually something that the uh, Roadrunner runaway or runaway campers don't do is this um, this is a max air fan and it pops up and there's actually a fan and a light built into that and that's actually added on by the person that owned it for me and that's something I would have added if if he hadn't already added it because he definitely need to have ventilation yeah you know, moving around over here on this side you'll see the the actual stabilizers that, that comes standard you pretty much put those down, put them in position, and then you use the front tongue jack to, to bring it up and where it snugs those down. You need that because if you hop up in there, it's so light it'll just flip on its tail. So, And moving on around here, this is standard over here. This is the standard plug, and it's, it's a normal plug in a normal one, 120 plug into this extension cord. And uh, this is an add on here, which is a cable connector. This was done also by the previous owner. And that's pretty much it on the outside. What I will tell you is that these runaway campers originally were wood and they had wood on the inside. They've gone to a complete composite now and I'm really happy that that's what this is made of. 
what that means is this whole roof is composite it's one solid piece and it wraps around the edge and leaks are almost almost completely eliminated i mean i won't i won't say it won't leak but it's going to be really hard it's a one solid surface on the top and then you got your four solid surfaces on here and what's really cool on the bottom part is you look at the whole bottom is one solid pvc piece there they've been making these for quite a few years and they've really kind of perfected the design now and i'm pretty happy with the way they've come out also this makes this a lot lighter this this particular range runner used to be a little bit quite a bit heavier than the 4x8 and this is the 4x6 so now that we're on the outside we'll move on into the inside so moving on into the inside i'll show you what normally comes standard with this particular model i think the this shelf above the air conditioner usually comes standard i don't think there's any lighting in here normally you usually have this power strip over here and going back this way you'll have a power strip in the back that's the standard features and uh this has had a lot added on to it and what you have on your sides you have a nice white wall the older versions had like a wood paneling wall and underneath this carpet here you'll see what the floor is kind of a beige painted floor And inside here it's just pretty much a box for the most part that's why these are so nice and you can customize them as you as you want them and up top you see there's a carpeted kind of a I don't know if you want to say carpet it's kind of a felt headliner so I now I'll go over some of the features that are in this particular model that been added on by the previous owner and uh, I'll just go over some things that he's added and first i've got this cover here and i'm not sure if i'll use that or not but it's always nice to have that i've got pine trees up front and maybe it might be good to put that up over whenever the pine trees are throwing their sap and then i had that i showed you outside where i have that awning well this little thing here is actually the side walls for that awning you have three sides that go on there and make it into a big full-size tent I may or may not be using that in the future and may even put it up for sale if I decide I don't want that. But we'll, we'll just have to see how that works out. And then I've got a, this here is a big mattress. I'm not really sure. I haven't looked at, looked at it yet. But uh, we'll have to see if we're going to use this. Probably not because we're going to work out something where I just have a single bed set up. And I'm not sure yet if I want to have the bed going this way in the back. Which is a little less than six feet. Or if I'm going to have it down one of these sides. But eventually I want to make a kitchen or something out the back. I want to have it where I have, to have a slide rack where I have maybe my Coleman stove on there. And a few storage. So moving back up front. Let's show you the stuff that's been added for the base model. And again this was done by somebody else. Not, not the actual company. You see I have a TV. And that is a 110 TV. And he's got an electrical system that, that can handle that. And I don't know, we'll see how that goes, but I'm not much on TV when I'm camping, so we'll just have to decide if we want to take that out eventually. He's also added a USB setup here and the 110 plugs over there. And he had a setup here, he said it had a refrigerator, like a cooler type refrigerator that slid in and out of here. And, uh, and there's some storage here. And then coming on around, I'm not sure this is a combo smoke detector CO2, and I'm not sure if that's something that came standard with the base unit. But I think it probably did. And uh, he's added this is what he's added. I'm not sure if we can get a good look at it or not, but he's added a 18 amp hour lithium battery. And then there's a cutoff switch, and then we have an inverter, and then over here we have a basically a fuse system goes with that and then running back up here it looks like we have a another I'm not sure what this is we'll have to figure that out it looks like another inverter setup got some USBs on the front there 
we're gonna have to figure everything out and he's also added the light here which is see right here it's your switch and then a lot of storage little storage units up here on the top and then he added this small carpet to kind of protect the floor kind of like that ideal and then a little bit heavy heavier duty one here now if you look at me here I'm five foot six and this is where I've got a good I guess a foot almost a foot and a half over my head to hit the ceiling up here obviously I'm setting down you can't you can't do this there's no way to stand up in here so that's something that you have to be used to I used to have a teardrop and this is very similar to the teardrop I think it's actually got a little more room than the teardrop so like I showed you earlier the previous owners did add this max air fan which you pull it down and that seals it up on the top you don't have to worry about rain and then you push the button here and push it on up and he's actually installed a little variable fan on it which is kind of nice it has a little led light as well and then it has a little fan it's you can turn it low real low wide open if you need to Pulls a pretty good amount of air through here. That's something, like I say, I, I really am glad that's there. Modded out. Like I say, this is going to be a unique mod. This is not going to be a, my primary camping thing. So this is something for a solo person. So just keep that in mind. And uh, I won't get into too many details of what I plan on doing in the future. Still kind of in the planning stage. Definitely going to work out something in the back here going to build some kind of platform for a bed not really big i think i'm going to go to go i'm going to go east west and then i'm going to have it come set out a little ways from this back door and i have some cubbies and things in the back that way you can come in that way and you'll have your kitchen gear built in that but again i got to keep this thing really light and simple so i don't want to get too crazy so i'm going to do a lot of designing and figuring out i'll be watching a lot of the youtube videos out there to get ideas up front here I'm not sure right now what we're planning on doing. I know one thing I'll definitely add right away is a some kind of way of monitoring what my battery's doing because right now I have no idea if that thing's almost dead or not. So I will add something in the future for that. Some kind of at least get my voltage on that. So I uh, think I might add a, another setup eventually with a jockery that'll plug into this system and run off of that. And also I think in the future I'll probably put some kind of solar setup. So, we're going to work on a lot of mods on this and hope to take a trip out to Big Ben uh, this late this summer. Maybe a few other little small camping trips. Still be beating a lot of camping trips in our, our bigger hard shell camper. So stay tuned and we'll, we'll work on all these mods and get out there camping soon. See you again on another one of these videos.